hello guys welcome back to today's video in today's video i'll be showing you how to run your eFootball the s one from your uh, nvidia vga card so stay tuned and watch the video to an end you continue please subscribe to this channel and like this video as you can share and comment on this video um, for any help and assistance um, if you really want to run um, the eFootball PS21 on your Nvidia video card or on um, your AMD video card then a few of things that you might um, want to do um, before you can run this game on your um nvidia video card so mostly or uh, most of times some of the games um automatically run from the nvidia video card so you, for that ones you don't need to worry but if you're facing this problem then um uh, among these tricks that i'm going to show you um some or probably it might be of help to you so the very first thing we need to do now is to go on and then check the settings for the game and then scroll down to settings for eFootball PS21 and let's wait for the settings to run so after we have the settings showing we can go to specifications and can see um bad okay bad and bad again and this um game is actually running from uh intel hd graphic um 330 instead of um having the nvidia video card showing so if i right click here and you can see nvidia control panel showing here so now how do we make this Intel graphic um, card here um, display um, Nvidia instead of this Intel card so that's what we're going to do right now so the very first thing we need to do is to make sure we have the latest drivers installed for the Nvidia video card so if you don't have the latest updates then go ahead and update your drivers so now since we have already updated eyes here we go ahead and open the software which is um, a, soft, um, a shortcut after you install your graphic driver so this will probably show on your desktop and it is GeForce experience and you can run it and here you can see this interface here so after you run the software you're going to have um, all the games you've installed in your computer displaying here and sometimes not all of them might display and the the the, the thing is um the, the card um the software only show games which is in your drive c and if you go to settings go to games here you can see oh this is already added that's why we are seeing this you can only see this program file and program file 86 here so since uh, maybe your game might be installed on your drive D and H you need to add them automatically manually so you go to add and you're going to select D and you add oh it's already showing a game so uh, no problem you go to add again and then we select the decks that you might or um, more the games you have been installed so you add the H and then we now scan for the games so if the game is, is installed on the different decks after scanning you see that it will show here so this game here a football was installed on drive D and this um, GTA 5 was also installed on the drive H so 
after scanning all of them will show up and you're good to go so now since you're having the game display here in the nvidia geforce experience the very thing you need to do is to click on the run and or click on the play and you're good to go the game is going to run on your nvidia video card so that is the one way of solving this problem another thing you can do apart from using this method or if this method does not work the simplest method i can tell you or i can show you is to simply plug in your charger pretty simple right just plug in your charger so let's check this here uh if you go to uh, my um notification and click on the battery icon you see that i'm actually running my laptop on the battery so i haven't plugged in any charger here so actually i'm running this from my battery so if you're running um this or if you're running a game on your battery the game actually won't run on the full or the highly performance so uh, it's actually going to use your intel video card instead of the um instead of your amd or your nvidia video card so if you want to run your game from your nvidia video card then you need to plug in your charger in that way um you're going to have the best performance showing so i'm just go ahead and then plug in um this charger here and you see we have this here and it's actually going to be uh on high performance after we put in this charger so you can see this charger um icon here and that's that so now let's go ahead and run the settings again and see if there will be any changes here and see so after we go to um, this specifications we are going to see some changes made here actually depending on your processor that's what is going to show here and we are having this here good good so now we can see that we no longer have the um, intel graphic card showing here but rather we're having the nvidia g4 gtx 950m so actually this is supposed to be four i don't know why we're having three over there but well so now we are having this nvidia showing around so you can go ahead and run the game and the game is going to run from um our nvidia video card so that's that and another thing uh, we can also do is to right click here and select the nvidia control panel and we'll go to the nvidia control panel um, we can make some settings here so that the game is going to run from the nvidia card so we go to program settings and on the program settings we can go to add here and we can go ahead and um sort or let me say look out for the e football here so we have an e football best 21 so actually if you're not seeing the e football you can go to browse and then you can go ahead and locate the game from your directory and add it so you can add selected program and we are going to change this to high performance nvidia processor so now that's what you're going to do so after turning on this you can go ahead and click apply here and wait for some short time good and we are done so that's that for now and you can also come back to this 
ps and select um nvidia geforce um g your know, geforce gtx 950 m and that's that so thank you guys for watching this video um if you're having any trouble or any problem you can leave a comment below and we will reply you immediately after you comment so thank you once again please subscribe to this channel for more videos